Hello friends, welcome to ASP Preparation Videos. Myself Umar Mehmood and today I am going to discuss the 31st chapter of Safety Professional Reference and Study Guide by David Yates. This chapter is related to behavior based safety and it is the shortest chapter in this book describing only the main concept of behavior based safety and its history. Since the 1980s, people have different opinion regarding the behavior based safety programs. Some people tend to believe that it's the catch all end all solution to accident. It means that you need to identify the people who exhibit the unsafe acts and you just take the disciplinary action against them to avoid the accidents and injuries at your site. But on the other hand, people tend to believe that it's a system just to blame the workers without eliminating the hazards. So in this chapter, you will see that behavior based safety is just a one tool in toolbox along with all other core element which can strengthen any safety management system. So the question is, what is behavior based safety and the simple answer should be it's a system to modify workers behavior towards safe practices but to understand the definition you must need to know what it is not so it's not a magic bullet that the managers have and it will eliminate all the injuries and accident at your workplace and it is not a method of placing blame on workers for their own injuries so to further Attempt to define the behavior based safety, it's very necessary to go back in history and see how the safety profession got to the point we are at today with regard to behavior based safety. In 1931, William Henrich published a book entitled Industrial Accident Prevention, a Scientific Approach. And in this book, he theorized that for every major accident resulting in injury, there are 29 minor accidents that cause minor injuries and 300 accidents that cause no injuries. And this become known as Henrich law and the graphical representation of Henrich law is this pyramid and as you can see if at any side 300 accidents occurred with no injuries means near miss and nobody take any corrective or preventive action against them then there are chances to occur 29 accidents with minor injuries and if again nobody take any corrective or preventive actions then it may lead to one major injury that could be fatality okay moving back to Henrich work Henrich quoted in his book that roughly 85 to 90 percent of all accident occurred as a result of workers error due to unsafe act or unsafe behavior so Ubre Daniel discussed the Henrich conclusion in his article of what is behavior based safety and quoted that workers error is the major cause of accident and it's very easy for industries and companies to blame the employees for any accident or injuries and because of this focus many early safety programs concentrated on stopping unsafe behaviors through negative consequence and this kind of approach definitely affecting any good safety management system workers try to hide the accidents and have fear of termination so that approach was not considerable and it is not recommendable now definitely you are thinking how Henrich contributes to the systematic study of safety. So after publication of his book Industrial Accident Prevention A Scientific Approach, companies began to make a more systematic approach to analyzing the data and that will open new doors towards modern behavior based safety programs. And we cannot neglect the contribution of Henrich in this regard. So simply behavior based safety is the study of behaviors. And to do this, you need some resources and efforts in order to convert unsafe behaviors into safe behaviors. Regardless of which specific method you choose or adopt, the core mission to reduce the overall injuries and accidents by modifying behaviors and creating habit strength safe behaviors. So the single definition would be, it is the multi-stage process leading to observation, feedback, and continuous safety improvement. And there are wide variety of systems available in market including Ubre Daniels, Safe Start, DuPont, Stop, Check 6, BST and others. Each of these programs have some common elements which are identify or target behaviors that affect safely. Like you observe the unsafe behaviors and then define these behaviors precisely enough to measure them reliably and then adopt and implement mechanism for measuring those behaviors how you quantify them in order to determine their current status and set reasonable goals 
and then provide feedback and reinforce process so these are five steps which are common in any system which you can adopt for behavior based safety there have been substantial changes over the years to behavior based safety and the data shows that if implemented correctly the behavior based safety program greatly assist in the reduction of accident but on the other hand if improperly implemented these same programs can cause great harm to safety program and overall organization as a whole some of the issues that have caused serious problems to behavior based programs include using program to place blame on employees it is very common improper trainings using behavior based safety as your whole focus safety program remember it's just a one tool in the toolbox and then using program to punish employees and this is very common mistake not getting initial buy in from employees you need to engage employees and develop trust in this way employees will take ownership and assist you to developing and strengthening the safety management system not including all employees some companies exclude the management and early staff like daily wagers so in this way the system cannot be implemented effectively so that's all if you want to acquire more knowledge on this topic then you may go through these websites for more understanding on behavior based safety program so that's all guys thank you so much for watching